um, that a 12 year old child could enjoy on their own and that their parents would feel comfortable letting them do so. So that, that's a few words that we think we might all well, well build on that and help with what we're proposing now. And it would also support my own services mission statement, which is to be the greenest and the safest and to keep Sheffield on the move. Um, just in the time we're available, I'd just like to share probably a dozen things that, that we're doing at the moment uh, about, about trying to achieve that. We, we we're developing uh, inclusive access to urban and rural open spaces with a support of their disabilities and ensuring that all public rights of way are safe and easy to use. We're developing a science green routes network, a radial path for cycling and walking that, that connect the city green spaces not only together, but with areas of employment, schools, leisure, and sports facilities and transport interchanges. Uh, and a green routes network will encourage cycling parks along rivers and the canal and will improve connections to the pink district. Uh, we're improving si safer side commuter cycle routes network along key corridors with appropriate links into residential areas and other key destinations um, onto the green network. We want to improve the, the network of driveways, not only for cyclists but also for horse riders. I think not a lot of the green holes, but those who do say it's quite a physical activity when they, they, they get on a horse. Uh, improve connectivity of public space in the city centre. We've got the gold route uh, up from the railway station to the city centre and the plans for a steel route to connect the canal basin with more foot. Improving and making safer walking cycle routes to all schools. Encouraging developers to build facilities at key destinations that welcome cyclists and walkers, things like storage and changing facilities. And encouraging existing developments to incorporate these facilities with grants, for example, for, for, for cycle spans. We want to support the Streets Ahead maintenance project, uh, which will create smooth roads and, and path services, which are well lit and maintained, which will be easy to walk and cycle. The counter side to that is that speed of travel can increase because there's no pothole that you want to people down. Um, we want to roll out country mile speed limits for every residential area in the city that will encourage people to walk and cycle and for the parents to let the children to play out. And a 20 mile an hour zone in the city centre to create a safe and pleasant shopping and business recreational environment. We want to develop shared spaces in appropriate locations, a big private back to the pedestrian. Uh, allowing the population to act on the network of bikes, a bike hire, uh, both in the short term and the long term. We want to encourage people to get to learn about bike maintenance courses so that they can become independent cyclists. We want to improve that, that, that integration between cycling and public transport they have on the continent. So those are some of the things, it's not an exhaustive list, but it's, it's, it's a good dozen or so things that we're looking at. We're starting, we want to do more of in the future. How we will do that, Big thing is about getting hands on money. Uh, we do that a lot in Sheffield with our partners across South Yorkshire and the Passenger Transport Executive. Uh, we, we have a, a, a South Yorkshire Cycle Action Plan until 2026 at the moment. We, we're developing a cycling infrastructure strategy to bid for government money. So, government's now plugged into cycling uh, on, on, a, on a big way for the Good Times cycling campaign. Uh, we'll be in partnership with our with other neighbours to do that. A good example of that was when uh, the Derbyshire County Council, the Peak Park, ourselves and Barnsley got £5 million pounds from the Cycle Ambition Grant to build a route uh, from um, Lancet to Dock to Stockbridge to Deep Car um, to, to improve cycling in, in the network in Sheffield. We had a right of improvement plan in 2017 where we wanted to improve people's outlet and walk, not just for recreation but for functional reasons. We also have a cycling action plan, which our cycling colleagues to remind us now last, uh, and we want to have a special one for Sheffield, which will develop over the next 12 months. And finally, the big thing coming to Sheffield next year, and I'm surprised if you don't know about it, is the Tour de France. Uh, the biggest single uh, sporting event on the planet will be here in Sheffield in July 2014. I would just make notes of that. Uh, there's a group across the whole of Yorkshire doing that, uh, from North Yorkshire to East Yorkshire, the West and South, trying to get people out there thinking about cycling. But even now, even though the routes have been announced, people cycling the route as, as, we, as we speak, and we will do thereafter, bringing uh, money to the economy of, of the area of Kidney Sheffield. But not just that, it can be about trying to get people to think about cycling, um, get people to take, taking the first steps in cycling, and ultimately they will do things for, for functional reasons. Um, and we want to build on that in terms of the things that, that, that we offer. Doing so with a whole variety of people, from activity Sheffield, from public health, past the countryside, 
exciting groups. Anybody who wants to get involved, we 